We getting ready with my lady, bitch. We getting ready with my lady, bitch. We getting ready with my lady, bitch. We getting ready with my lady. Hold on now. Universe is like, yes! Get ready with my lady, bitch! Ah! That's you. All right, now Universe could chill. Thank you. So, um, it's been a minute since your girl has done a Get Ready with Melanie. And a lot of people were asking for a Get Ready with Melanie for a while. And I just came back from my trip from Spain and people were asking me about my trip from Spain. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a Get Ready with Melanie where I talk about my trip from Spain, okay? So first off, first things first, let's prep this skin, okay? That's what we need to do before we start chit-chatting about the itinerary, why did I pick Mallorca, um, and X, Y, and Z. <coughs> Bitch, almost done. <coughs> Pick the dress. Is one of my souvenirs from Spain. <coughs> Next, I'm gonna go with the Milk Grip Primer. I picked Mallorca. I don't know, something came to me that was like, girl, you need to go here. You need to go. Last year, last year I didn't get to go to Mallorca. And this year I was like, I am not missing it. I'm not missing it. Like, I had a blast for my 30th birthday. You know, Chiclet rented out, Dave and Buster's. That was crazy. Um, and we had the whole Dave and Buster's to ourselves. But missing like missing the opportunity to travel on your birthday it's just it's just like mm, i don't want to do that no more you know i don't want to do that so i was like i'll be damned i don't give a damn if i have a wedding in three months i don't give a damn if i already got my batch plan for august i'm going to mallorca for my birthday i'm going in with the lancome what's it Tinte o diole o otro wear. Tint o diole otro wear. Lancome. That's the name of her, I think. I'm obsessed with this foundation, by the way. And second of all, the, the lady in Sephora had put me on. She put me on. Because I went in there for the looking for the Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. And um, so, uh, Sephora is like discontinuing it. We're not discontinuing it, but they're no longer going to be selling it in their stores. I don't know what beef happened with them, but I'm about my business. She told me that this one's like compared to the same one. You need a blend, blend, blend because the way this shit looking crazy is looking fucking crazy. I don't know. I planned this itinerary. I wanted to experience the most without ODing. I feel like I did that. I feel like I did that, okay? So this was my itinerary. Day one, you arrive. If you're coming from the United States of America, nine times out of 10, you will be on the red eye. You'll be sleeping on your flight and you will get there in the morning. Uh, it took about 11 hours to get to Mallorca. It takes eight hours to get to Spain from New York. And then you have to do a layover. Let me tell you something right now. This is just a rule of thumb. If you ever see a flight that is international and y'all land and there's an hour layover, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. When I tell you, you will be running, trying to figure out how this airport works. Unless you've been there before, unless you know the situations, don't do it. Trying to catch a connecting flight with an hour layover, immediately no immediately no because they make you do tsa all over again every time you go through it's you have to do the passport and then you have to do your tsa okay get that three hour layover chill at the airport for like an hour and a half or whatever how long but you ain't running you ain't rushing i'm gonna contour with the makeup by mario contour and stick i saw some girl contour like this she did a little bit of that Let's give that one a go. Your girl can't multitask sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, snatch nosies. When you go to Mallorca, you have to you have to rent a car. Like, unless 
You a brave soul. I'm not. I love transportation. I love having my own vehicle. Um, it was really easy to drive in Spain. Um, but everyone, nine times out of ten, they're going to tell you to rent a car. Um, it's just much easier to go to the different towns um, and see where you want to see. Because not everything is as close as you want it to. And their taxi system isn't really... You must reserve your taxi in advance. Like, you must call. Like, yeah, I need a pickup in 30 minutes. Because if you call and you're like, yo, I need to pick up right now, then I'm like, duh, bitch, we busy. Booked and busy. Ain't nobody doing that. Um, and then if you get lucky if you see a taxi that's available. Like, yo, you want to take me over here? I decided the first few days to stay at a town called Soyer. And um, I made this decision because I really wanted to explore Dea... So yeah, which is the northern region of Mallorca, very mountainy. A lot of people speak about these towns um, when they talk about Mallorca. So I was like, all right, we got my birthday is in like two days, so we need a good spot. I stayed at a finca. A finca is a farm turned into a hotel. So it has like history, nine times out of ten it's a mansion, you know, and they're like, all right, let's turn this into, into the hospitality. So they call it a finca. So I stayed at a finca. The finca was Finca Cancol. We got the contour good. We got the contour good. Contour look good. Contour look blended. Contour look airbrush. Let that get that. Let's highlight because, oh, what is up with this? Why are you coming in like that, like a fucking toddler? Let's check out who you was talking to. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm talking to my YouTube. Shh. Why do you smell like that? Vapor rub. What are you doing with vapor rub? Smelling it. Mm-hmm. I feel like you be putting vapor rub where he's not supposed to lodging it in places you know what i mean so i decided to stay in soyer they are seems a little seemed a little too small for me soyer has the tram has the farmer's market on saturdays and i think wednesdays wednesdays and saturdays they have the farmer's market um so i felt like the town had a little bit more to offer for me um than the other ones some people a lot of people recommend they are to stay it's like very cute very quaint lovely i will say this the finca that i stayed at only offers breakfast and um i had planned thinking that they would like offer poolside service or something so we didn't have to go out for lunch but um i was mistaken i didn't do good enough research for that and so me and chicle had to go out for dinner the first night um, you know, after flying for 12 hours, you it's kind of like the last thing you want to do is to leave your hotel room. Um, but it was fine because we had dinner in the town. We walked like about 10 minutes and we enjoyed a lovely meal. It was very, very good. Um, recommended by the Finca. I love um, their name is... They're a married couple with kids, and their name is Wolf and Sylvia. Um, and they know so much about the island. They know about, like, they had the best recommendations. Um, I even, like, picked my birthday celebration based on one of their recommendations. 10 out of 10 for the, like, perfect celebration. This dinner spot was recommended by them, too. The dinner was so good. So that was the first day where we had to go out um next day you know we ha they don't offer lunch so we had to go out for lunch as well and i'm not really mad at it because then it forces you to kind of sightsee and get a gist of the town we use one of their recommendations as well it was a cute little cafe that they had salads and tostadas and smoothies and stuff and then we did a little bit of shopping so i got i got like a lot of the souvenirs out of the way after lunch we went home freshened up and then i wanted to leave early so that we could go um explore the town of there we were having dinner at la residencia if you don't know la residencia is el belmont property 
I don't even know if I say that right. But it's a luxury, luxury, luxury property, okay? I wanted to explore all the all the vibes that they had there for me and walk around a little bit at, at there. The views are gorgeous. Uh, we had a little bit of icy before. Oh man, oh man, I'm skipping steps for y'all. How do I skip steps? I had went, I had con I had highlighted with the NARS and then I'm blushing with the rare beauty in the color joy the day before my birthday we had dinner at Mido. a lot of people go to dinner at el olivio but el olivio is really hard to get reservations for in the belmont um place Mido is right next to it in the same hotel um they have a little bit more seating options and you get the quality of being at El Belmont La Residencia, okay? Beautiful sunset, beautiful vibes. They had live musicians there playing. Just to uh, chime it all together. Day one, Soyer, dinner in the town. Uh, day two, lunch in Soyer, dinner at Dea. And day three, which is now my birthday, we took the tram. There's a tram that comes into so Soyer and it takes you to the port. It also takes you to Palma, which is their main city. We took that, we was really nervous, but thank God, like your girl speaks Spanish so I can speak to other people and be like, hey girl, you waiting for the tram here too? And my girl was like, see. Sí. So I was really glad for that because there'd be nine times out of time, you get really confused when you go to other countries and you don't know if this train is coming or not. We took the tram and we did a private boat tour um, with the company Octopus Mallorca. And they're really a snorkeling company, um, like scuba, snorkeling, like th things like that. Um, but they have private charters that is very like, we had such a good time. He took us to all the nooks and crannies and we saw like, he recommended the north, the east side. I think the east side of the island. You could either go east or west. And I let him recommend, but I already knew what I wanted to go in, in my head. I just wanted to make sure that I, like, we was on the same page. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, can I make a recommendation? I'm like, yeah, I already know where I want to go, but go ahead, let me hear you out. Um, and he wanted to go where I wanted to go. So I was like, all right, good. We on the same page. My thing with Mallorca and boats, I think if you're ever going to an island and you're trying to explore, like, the, like trying to get really close to the to the rocks to, um the beach or whatever you need to be on a small boat big boats can't go that close so you if you're trying to like luxury out or whatever it don't make sense if you see a speedboat and you're like i don't want to be on a speedboat get the speedboat sis the experience is going to experience that's why you get the speedboat so this we had a speedboat but it was a nice speedboat it was a luxury speedboat i was like oh i didn't expect this speedboat um and we had one guy i forgot his name uh but he took us to all these little caves he took us to a few caves he took us to sacalebra i think i'm pronouncing that wrong i apologize i'll probably add it right here so y'all can see it oh let me tell y'all about this story mind you your girl your girl don't swim in deep waters like without a life vest i'm a, i'm i'm not a i'm jumping into this deep ass water without a life vest on mind you i can swim i just can't tread water so i have like I can't try war. Like, I start, I'm like real heavy with it. And I'm like, mm, I'm tired already, bitch. I'm about to drown. I'm about to real drown. I got in the water. And homeboy, we had like wet suits. So he was like, you're good. It has some buoyancy on it. Like, just fill your lungs with air and um, you should be fine. Mind you, Chiclet was like, bitch, you booked a scuba shit. I'm not getting in this water. <laughs> One time we went to Puerto Rico. And we had a swim because we was on a big ass catamaran. We was on a big catamaran. We had a swim from the boat to the island so we could get to the island so that we could relax on the beach. I'm a I'm a life vest girly. Give me the life vest. I don't give a damn if I can swim across. I want the life vest. Chicla was like, I don't need a life vest. I'm good. Right? He's swimming. 
he got a little tired. He was like, all right, I'm going to rotate. I'm going to go to the back. But the water is, like, splashing him. The water is, like, getting him. He's like, holy oh, shit, I'm about, to, I'm about to drown here. He said, let me think. If I drown here, you think they'll get to me in time? And so he's contemplating on drowning in this water as he's trying to swim to shore. And he looks over to his left and there's people walking. There's people walking. He stands up and the water's to his knees. <laughs> Chiclet, he laid out on the beach for two hours after that. Mind you, when we was going back, he thought he could swim back. I said, get, get, tell that lady to come get you. Tell that, tell that lady to come get you. You, you're playing yourself. So she took both of us back to that boat. Me for no reason, but the water was just heavy, and I was just like, my girl, strong. So that was the first incident she got. The second incident, we went to Italy. I did another like private boat tour, and we got in the water. He was already scared after Puerto Rico. We get in the water, and when I tell you that water was so clear. You felt like I at being on top of it, I felt like I was on like a twelve foot story building, like I was up on a high rise looking down, and you could see the floor. Sis. He said, Hell no, get me off of this shit, bitch. After that history, Chica was like, bitch, I ain't getting in this order. Let me blend right, cause I feel like in the camera, she look at she look around. I think this is why I stopped shooting get ready with millennials. Because I would film and then I'll forget things. And I was like, I'll either do my makeup and not talk or talk and not do my makeup. And then I'm here for like three hours shooting a video that could take me less than an hour or hour. Like, I went in with the one, what is this? The one size ultimate setting powder in the pink. I'm a natural girly. Okay, so I love the way this sets on my skin. And just like make this makeup, make the makeup look airbrush, make the makeup look airbrush. Okay, that's Chico's history with getting on boats and getting in water. He's just like scared, so he was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it." The guy was like, "Yeah, you good? You got this, bro." Um, and I don't know, Chico trusted him. Because he saw that he trusted him, that the dude trusted Chicla. And he was like, you know what? If you can trust me, why well, I can't trust me? So he jumps in and he talks about how he um, is scared of like the <clears throat> the way you sound when you're breathing, when you're snorkeling. Because you kind of sound like... <sighs> That's what you sound like. And I said, well, you kind of sound like an astronaut. And he was like, oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> out of that, he was a little more comfortable. We then went to another section, saw another cave, and swam there. Um, and Chicklet got off and was over here being a, a, a little, a little, he was a, he was a little swimmer boy, a little mermaid. I was like, okay. They surprised me with, like, little cakes for my birthday. We had some champagne. Well, I had champagne. It was really, like, a lovely day. The coastline of Mallorca is so gorgeous. I'm a real big fan of, like, mountains and, like, big rocks of coast. Um, and you kind of and you see people at the beaches. Um, and, yeah, I love that for me. Um, so that was the morning. I did not plan transportation after this uh, this excursion and I biggest mistake because we saw the line for the tram and we're like we ain't waiting on that line we stupid we stupid because not everyone's getting on the same train as us there's people that come from Palma that come from other towns that takes the tram trams go to different spots we dumb so we decided to walk and I was like, oh, there's a taxi stand over there. Let's go get one. There was no taxi stand over there. There was nothing there. I was just like, okay. So we walked some more until we got to the end of the, there's like two stations. There's two stops in Porte Soled. Porte Soled. And 
So we walked to the other end and we was like, you know what? Let's get some pizza because we don't know what we're doing about lunch. The tram was supposed to be coming in like 15 minutes, 15, 20. But then Chigla saw a taxi cab and he was like, you know what? I'm going to hop in this. Like, well, he didn't say I'm going to hop in this. He told me, yo, can you take us somewhere? And I was like, yo, but we waiting on pizza. And when I tell you it was done right then and there, we hopped in the cab, got a ride straight home, took a nap. I took a nap, woke up, and then got ready to go to dinner, which was on the cliff side of Porte Soyer. Uh, I think the restaurant was called Natalis. Nautalis. Nautalis Restaurant. I mean, I was, I was struggling real hard. I struggled with vowels. So don't like, don't come for me for no vowels, bro. Them bitches keep changing. And they uncertainty. So I don't even know where they land at. Okay? Beautiful sunset there, too. It was such a good vibe. Next day, we were leaving our finca. And we were going to Cesalini's. I'm gonna put, don't quote me on the names. Don't quote me on the names. I'm gonna put them right there so that y'all can see, like, oh, I see where she went. This part of the island, southern part of the island, it's rural over there. So there's a lot of flat. The beaches over there are, like, are supposedly so gorgeous. Like, that's what they're really known for. I wanted to, I wanted to explore everything in the six days that I was there. So I picked a hotel that was called Hotel. It was called Finca Hotel Esrual. I booked it on Expedia, and so I don't think the I don't think they have a website. Or they do have a website. I don't know. I booked it on Expedia though. I love the hotel because they offered um, you can chill poolside, get drinks, get food. Um, they have a, a little a little spa, little sauna, get massages like. It's cute. It was cute. Um, the food was good. The service was good for me. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, when you go to Europe, they're very, the service is very chill compared to us here. So we're so used to people constantly checking in on us like, hey, do you need anything? Hey, do you need anything? Hey, do you need anything? You need anything? You need anything? Over there, You if you need anything, you really have to get somebody's attention. Like, they'll check on you or maybe like an hour after giving you i don't want to say an hour is exaggerated an hour is exaggerated but they'll check on you i'm going in with the rare beauty blush um they'll check on you probably like 45 minutes after giving you your menu seeing what you want um and they will dead ass like really only check on you when they're bringing you something that you had ordered or if you have called their attention which is fine by me i'm like hey okay Hey. The blush is blushing, blush is blushing. That should look heavy on me. We're gonna we're gonna lighten it up. We're gonna lighten it up. That's how I do my brows. Um we're gonna go with some minus clear water. Give it a little shake. You know, q tip. We stayed at the hotel for a little bit. I wanted to really check out um Satani, which is a, is a town nearby. Um, they're also known for their farmer's markets on Saturdays. Um, and then there's this restaurant that everybody on social media talks about is Tejera o Tejeras Origin. I don't know how to say it in both, in like the whole thing, Spanish or English. I don't know. I'm doing half Spanish, half English. The food was worth it. I'm very skeptical about things on social media because there was like a lot of restaurants that pop up for Mallorca and like a lot of people do the same videos about the same restaurants so it's kind of hard to find like the nooks and cranny ones because you know everyone's doing a video about the Jeremiah Cliffside Hotel and how it's perfect for for the sunset but don't have a meal you have to go for cocktail hour like then you only see content like that like bitch i'm trying to find a i'm trying to find the good stuff like that's what i want so this was one of the restaurants that people everywhere was like raving about like you have to go here you have to go here you have to have lunch here you have to have brunch here you have to do something here but you can't make reservations online so i was like that's alarming like i don't know this website looked this website looked like it's it said getting back to our roots like 
what does that mean? You you close or you open. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop by. And again, don't need reservations. This is lunch. I did this for lunch. This was lunch. You don't need reservations. We walked in. Um, they had a line of people waiting at the register. Um, a man greeted us right away. He was like, How many people? I said two. He sat us down. We even got to pick our seats. Mind you, this this place was pretty crowded at this point. They was busy. Service I mean, I wasn't complaining. Um, but my sandwich did come take a little while to come. But I had this sandwich, this chicken with ham and cheese sandwich. So good. Like I'm I try to eat the sam I try to find the sandwich somewhere else. Like eat a chicken sandwich and it wasn't hitting the same i was like you just made me mad because i tried to eat you to serve a craven and you didn't do your job but how can you do your job because you are not the same that's what it felt like i would definitely go back to this restaurant they have a shop for pottery like that's really their main thing is ceramics and home so i bought this mug i bought uh, it came with a little tape with a little plate i bought this linen napkin i bought two rings i was gonna buy everything but you know you can't pack everything and i wish i could just like purchase everything online but you can't i might i might just book a flight back <laughs> just for souvenirs one thing spain got is the souvenirs handmade some culture you see the dress you see you see the dress we had lunch there we chilled back at the at the hotel had a chill night had dinner at the hotel um they had a artist come and sing and perform sunset was gorgeous like i really i really had a good time i really had a good time the days kind of flew though like me com me coming back home, I felt like I could have I could have added one more day. That's what I could have done. Just to kind of wrap my head around it. I felt like I was processing and absorb absorbing everything all at once at the same time that the first three days you kind I felt like I was already there for like a while. Like I felt like I was there for some time. Um and then the last three days, you're like, oh, wait, hold on, you're leaving. Like, you're leaving. So, <clears throat> the next day after that, I wanted to get some jet skis. I felt like the best way to enjoy an island with water is to do excursions and events. Like, water um, excursions. That's why I did the boat for my birthday. I'm a big boat girl. And... I felt like the best way to see the beaches and stuff like that on the southern part was to ride around in some dress skis. Um, 10 out of 10. It was scary. I'm not going to lie to you. We was like, um, I want to say a little more than a mile away from the coast on some dress skis riding with the waves. i'm not gonna lie to you my hand from like needing to control the jet ski hurts like even now still i kind of have like a little pain here it was worth it the experience was a 10 out of 10 i got to see um cala lambaris no jambaris but in the name like i don't speak spanish i don't know what it is man um cala lambaris oh it's not like that um so i got to see that one without needing to be in the crowd um i got pictures with it and everything and i got to see the water it was gorgeous blue very nice very lovely and the guy said whatever y'all want to do really um it was me chicla and this other dude we was like oh fuck it let's go see the cave and then we rode back but they <sighs> when i told you riding back was harder than riding forward i was like hold on I'm tired. And this man is taking us mad far out. Like, I know we got to go back to the coast eventually. So, I was just like, I'm going to take it. My man's taking it easy behind me. I'm going to take it easy behind <laughs> with him. Homeboy and the instructor is all the way. I'm all, They like this small. They got so small that I thought they was a mountain at one point. Because I was like, that's them over there. I'm going to get there eventually. They should slow down. <laughs> 
jet skis was a 10 out of 10 um and i think i paid you gotta pay 200 for each jet ski um so it was like 400 dollars for the jet ski if y'all want to know the purchase for the boat the boat was like 600 600 euros or something like that and the dollar and the, and the euro is actually pretty close now it was like 100 and it's like 107 one euro is one dollar and seven cents in america so the the exchange rate isn't too far off i'm gonna go in with anastasia Be beverly hills brow freeze gel after the jet skis we just chilled in the pool chicle did a massage i read a book a little bit swam i chilled in the sauna um yeah we just we just relaxed did nothing then got ready for dinner and we were going into this town called Cesalini's, which we we were right nearby it was like less than 10 minutes away we went to the restaurant that's part of the chain of the hotel we were at um gassi gassasi i don't know don't quote me on it read it don't quote me on it read it okay and we went in there thinking we was gonna have a bye y'all you know what i i should have known better i should have known better because our boat tour guy he was like, you know, the Spaniards, like, the, like they don't really eat paellas for dinner. They eat them for lunch. It's a little too heavy for dinner. So why the hell did I think that I would be able to go to dinner and have a paella? So we sat down for dinner. And I'm like, yes, I know what I want. I want a paella. And she's like, yeah, that's only for lunch. So I was there like. All right, let's have the next best thing. Is this rice with lobster, mussels. Um, I can't remember what these, damn, they're not shrimps, but they look like shrimps. They're about the same thing. I can't remember what it's called. I'm like, yo, we'll have one of those. I should never done that. I should tell her, give me a few minutes. Because one thing I don't like, it's like watery rice. I'm not a fan of that. It's kind of like risotto. You ever had risotto? I'm not a fan of risotto. It's just not. Not for me. It ain't for me. So that's what it was. It was black rice with lobster. I ate the lobster. I ate the seafood. It was good. Um, but I wasn't a fan of it. What else we did? I was able to do some more souvenir shopping. I love spain souvenirs if i could buy everything everybody i would if i could buy everything if i could buy everything and take it home and ship it out i would uh so we just shopped around a little bit more there then we went home and called it a night um because we had to get ready to go to our next location yes your girl had three locations in six days i would not regret it i would not i loved it i saw the north saw the south and now you know you gotta stop by to the main town Palma, and it made sense because we had an airport we had our flight the next morning so you don't have to drive like 40 minutes to get to the airport we able to, we were 15 minutes away we did our rental drop off you know we had breakfast at the hotel before we left um i say 10 out of 10 experience so we then checked in to can Bordeaux. Can Bordeaux. I think this is a French hotel. Can Bordeaux. Can Bordeaux. We went to Can Bordeaux. And it's in Palma. Right near the, like, the famous church that they have. I'm going in with Rare Beauty's highlight. Oh, is this the highlight? I'm not sure it is. No, it's not. That's the blush. That's embarrassing. So... Then we st spent the day there. We wanted to go to Zara to shop, um, and we did. I had to buy some more souvenirs in the city. I got lucky and found like a cute spot that wasn't selling like trashy stuff. I chilled again by the pool. Chicle wanted, we had a tub in our hotel, so Chicle wanted to spend his time there. I could have definitely added one more day in the city of Panama, and I would have probably like drove to like a beach club the next day. I would like book a whole nother day to stay and i would have enjoyed like a little bit of a little bit of party vibes because i didn't have that um in any of the in any of the other trips like normally when we go traveling we make a friend we make a friend um everyone was pretty chill lax to themselves 
um which is fine um but i would have loved to make some friends and enjoy some music and some vibes while i'm like <laughs> but for that you might as well go to ibiza i gave y'all my whole itinerary um i'm gonna put a link i made a canva of it and i'll be more than happy to put the link and information so that anyone can like um is looking for like an idea or need recommendations like i really truly love my itinerary it's one it's not for the week it's not for the week you're touching down to enjoy yourself and to explore as much as you can um there are moments that you can chill and relax for those of y'all who don't know the classic lip right now is a color pop lip liner and cool bff right no bff2 i see people lip line like this mm, i'm not sure if i did that right there we go and then i'm gonna go in with the dior luminizing lip gloss in the color 001 i'm obsessed with this color it has a little bit of dimension at the same time I love it. I love it. One thing about my yacht car, they got fans. They got fans. I'm obsessed. I bought two. I wanted to buy like 10 of them. There was one in the Madrid airport that had a mini fan. I was like, I need that in my life. But I didn't arrive to the airport in time. Like, you know, we was trying to catch that layover, that flight. Um, and I was not risking it. I have to get to my gate before I buy anything. If you're thinking about going to Mallorca, I'm telling you to do it. Enjoy the sangria. Enjoy the beaches. Enjoy the beautiful weather and enjoy the souvenirs guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed my trip um from mallorca and i hope you enjoyed this getting ready with my lady bitch <laughs> uh, hopefully i'll be able to do some more soon um uh, but write in the comments which i would like to me to talk about talk mm. but write in the comments what you would like for me to talk about because honestly that's the main reason why i had stopped um, your girl did not know what to talk about at some point. I was like, mm, I'm boring myself. <laughs> I was like, I'm boring myself. And if you're boring me, because uh, it's not that easy. It's not that hard to, it's not that hard. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I don't know. When should I celebrate my birthday next year? Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Bye.